This is Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 7, and the objective is to connect area models and the distributive property to partial products of the standard algorithm with renaming. So this is very similar to um, what they did in Lesson 6. So the example I'm going to use is from homework number 1, letter A, and the problem is 273 times 346. Again, we're going to do this using the area model and the standard algorithm, and I'll show you the arrows again just to see the connection between the two. So we have 200 and 273, and when I decompose a number, I have 273, and I'm decomposing the other number, I have 6, I have 40, and I have 300 drawing my rectangles for the area model. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and find the partial products for each of these. Okay, my partial products are all filled out, so now I'm going to add these numbers. And some of the students have been getting into the habit of adding these numbers here and finding the total, and that is perfectly acceptable. Um, I just want to transition over to the standard algorithm by drawing my arrows over. I'm going to rewrite my numbers again. So, 8, 6, 1. Okay, and then um, I'm adding the partial products together. So I have an answer of 94,458. So 273 times 346 is 94,458. Again, I like to box that in red to show that is my answer. The next um, homework problem I'm going to use in as, as an example is problem number five. Uh, number five from the homework says, one Saturday at the farmer's market, each of the 94 vendors made uh, $502 in profit. How much profit did all vendors make that Saturday? So I'm going to start with my target sentence. And the target sentence says, all vendors made blank dollars that Saturday. Um, we want the students to get in the habit of doing the target sentence so that they don't forget what they're looking for. Okay, so now I have my um, problem here. I have $502. And that's going to be multiplied by the 94 vendors. Again, they can use your estimate to find a reasonable answer. I'm just going to go ahead and solve this problem. Um, so this one's a little bit different because I have nothing in the tens place. So we don't have a, um, a column for that because there is no tens, and that's fine. And I have 94. I'm going to do my partial products here. And I made a mistake again. I, 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 this is actually a 90, not 94. 90 and 4. And 90 times 500, 45,000. And this is 180. Okay. You're going to add. Okay, and doing the standard algorithm, which eventually the students will move beyond the area model, and they'll just be able to do the standard algorithm. But again, the area model gives them a deeper understanding of what these partial products really are. Um, so we're just practicing transitioning from the area model to the standard algorithm. So when I add these all together, I have 
I have an answer of all the vendors made $47,188 that Saturday. If the students were using the reasonable estimate, they would have multiplied 500 times 100 and they would have got 50,000 and that would have been very close to 47,188. Um, again, just practicing the students uh, with the students with the area model and transitioning to the standard algorithm and then eventually they'll just be uh, using the standard algorithm.